That gold buckle of million dollar check is Sean Willingham. And guys, he's on top of All In, so we get a bonus segment with Michael Gaffney. G, who are you going to pick? Well, this is a great Alex Nacarado bull. We know about his, his reputation in bucking bulls, you guys. But this is a really great draw, I think, for Sean Willingham. He bucked off Jared Farley earlier in the week. But this bull should be out here around the right into Sean's hand. I think he's up for the task. We saw him just just ride tremendous this past week. And I've got to get the upper hand to Sean. I think he's looking for that world title. Well, gee, a good call, but Justin, he's absolutely right. I mean, Willingham has been riding lights out, especially that last ride that got him so pumped up. That's the thing. We talked about the momentum, and that momentum, he's got it in his hip pocket right now. He'll pull it out and use it. This is a bull just like the last one, Rattler and all in. These are bulls that uh, may have surprised a lot of people to make it to the championship rounds, one of the top 15 bulls, but Cody Lambert has had his eye out, and, and, and seldom has he missed it, really. Especially that last one, all in from Nacarado. We talk about great breeding programs. He's been at it a long time. This is huge. Th this is huge. Now, he can, he cannot pass Cody Lostro. He's a bull behind Cody Lostro. The best he can finish is number two. That's 2,250 points. He's 1,800 points behind. He could be a factor, but it's not over. anymore. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen this year for Sean Willingham. No shame in that, though, Ty. What a great season he's had. Well, and I think that's going to really build on his confidence. You know, I, I watched Sean when he first came around, and for a long time, not a long time, but when he first came around, you know, it was like he didn't really feel he belonged. He felt like the kid, and then he started making great rides, started getting the right attitude, and it's like this year is the first time it kicked in that he said, you know what, hey, I am one of the best bull riders in the world, and I do deserve to be here, and I can ride with these guys. So, you know, we always said that you either win something or you learn something, and uh, as far as the world championship goes, he's not going to win it, but he's definitely had a great year for learning.